Uh, hi everyone, uh, sorry for the wait, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new 21 Pilots album, Clancy. Yep, here we have the newest full-length LP from music duo 21 Pilots. It's their seventh LP, which uh, surprisingly I was looking forward to. Surprising because historically I haven't really been a 21 Pilots boy, especially when it comes to their early stuff. I mean, I'm not saying there's no substance at all to Tyler Joseph's songwriting and that uh, uh, it doesn't have its merits, but aesthetically their music is just not really my cup of tea. Funky, pop, punky, white boy, ukulele, rap, reggae mix. It makes my skin crawl, but in 21 Pilots' defense, uh, musically they have matured quite a bit since then. And nowhere is that more obvious than on the duo's 2018 record Trench, a high concept rock album dealing in themes around mental health, uh, religion, personal struggle, and all of these ideas were being fed through this character-driven narrative around a, a mysterious cult-like group slash religious institution and its control on society, which was undeniably a creative angle for the record to take, and if it makes the songwriting more compelling in the long run, I'm all for it. Even if the almost endless layers of lore around Trench don't speak to me as much as uh, it does the band's most hardcore fans. Because honestly, as much as I do enjoy that record and some other 21 Pilot songs too, I'm not personally driven to pick up every single reference going on in every track, in every lyric. However, I do generally like thematic songwriting and storytelling, and it was nice to hear 21 Pilots nail that so well as an abstract on Trench. And it's also nice to see them go back to that after such a disappointing follow-up uh, on Scaled and Icy in 2021, which was a record that felt like the duo was uh, throwing away everything that made Trench work in the first place, and after that regressing into something that was as unflattering as a lot of the duo's early stuff. I mean, I do get the desire to maybe simplify things, though, creatively, because, and maybe I'm wrong, but it's not exactly like 21 Pilots uh, broke onto the scene making super dense, multi-layered concept albums and doing a new record each time that either extends the lore of Trench or draws up a new story entirely that is on a similar level, uh, th that can be pretty frickin' stressful and would most likely lead to its own set of downsides if pushed far enough. Still, on this new LP, the band tries to bring us back to Trench. They say as much on the opening track and lead single to this thing, Overcompensate. And in tandem with the release of this album, 21 Pilots actually uh, dropped a video explaining uh, a lot of the lore uh, around this record and the whole trench thing too. So yes, there is lore with this record. However, uh, this time around, narratively things feel a lot more streamlined than they were on Trench. I mean, clearly the two records are connected uh, insofar as uh, pretty much the main character and voice of Trench. Clancy is the main character here on the album that's named after him. But this time we're not really getting bogged down in the rigmarole around uh, religion and world building as much. And instead, Tyler Joseph is uh, just going straight to using the Clancy character as a vehicle to explore struggles around mental health, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, disassociation, as well as addiction or things that could be uh, likened to that feeling, those cravings, which is fair because I think this is a way for the band to get to the point on these songs without being too obvious about it. Once again, with Overcompensate right on the front end of the album, it certainly feels like the duo is trying to sell us on something that is big, larger than life, high concept once again with this showy, massive, punchy, multifaceted track. Uh, with these big, uh, looping, 90s-style break-type beats that feel like something out of the Matrix soundtrack, with these dark, deep proclamations of, Welcome back to Trench, to, you know, pretty much uh, reinforce the idea that we're uh, going back, going back to the Trench era. The only thing about the track that doesn't really get
get to me is that uh, at a few parts with all the changes, the momentum doesn't always carry over. And some of the funky white boy raps on the track, uh, they're just okay. Uh, even if on some level they feel like uh, kind of a callback, maybe inadvertently to a band like 311 and some of their biggest hits. Uh, but if you could take them and make them kind of darker and more futuristic. I mean, the intro is fireworks, that's for sure. But the real magic of the record, I think, comes with the first leg of songs in the track list. All the killer rock tunes like Next Semester, which is uh, really punchy and punky. It's an anthem that's just oozing early block party and the killers. And the lyrics tell a story of a chaotic mental break that uh, pretty much involves blacking out, as Tyler sort of describes. Uh, he can't quite remember everything. He remembers some things. I'm not going to spoil the whole track, but I do love uh, the way the progression of the song shifts and breaks us from one point to the next, especially as uh, we're shocked to hear things like, hey, get out of the road. Following this is the track Backslide, which is this uh, kind of eerie, demon-voiced pop rap track with a soaring hook, and narratively, it's a very essential anthem on the record, as a very massive theme of it is all about breaking destructive patterns, trying not to fall back into old habits, because as it's said on the song, uh, there is no chance that I will shake this again, you know, meaning if you kind of, you know, uh, backslid. It's a very good track. The only thing about it that I'm kind of scratching my head over is why, again, on the back end of the record, would the band uh, pretty much rehash this same theme and not dive into it that much further on the song Snapback. Again, just kind of feels like the same angle but with a weaker tune attached to it. Midwest Indigo is another very anthemic and synthy tune on the LP that also feels like it's pulling inspiration from some very early killers or maybe even some solo Brandon Flowers if you could uh, basically cut out the Americana business and replace it instead uh, with a bit of a pop punk flair, especially uh, considering Josh Dunn's uh, very crisp and uh, killer drums on the track, which he always brings regardless of the track. But yeah, the story on this one seems to liken the coldness of a relationship dynamic to uh, the, just a, a, an unbreakable frost in very frigid weather. There are similar themes of longing and feeling kind of unfulfilled on the craving as well, though I don't think it's as strong a tune, but I do kind of get the need for uh, sort of an acoustic break in the middle of the album it does uh, provide some level of variety. There's also Routines in the Night, which in my opinion is just uh, good quality pop songwriting, cut and dry, and the performance is of course dramatic and passionate with the uh, writing being very much about uh, just kind of being in your own head, needing to uh, process these very intense and overwhelming emotional moments, which is also mirrored as a theme on, I think, uh, my final favorite song from the record Navigating, which is a disassociation rocker that, again, pulls very much from the block party playbook with roaring bass riffs and uh, driving dance punk drum beats. Lyrically, the track is very much what you see is what you get, and honestly, with this hook, I'm navigating, I'm navigating, I, I think this is handily one of the catchiest songs 21 Pilots has ever penned. For me, though, around the halfway point of the record is when things begin to kind of trail off. You have these grating falsetto vocals on vignette, uh, that are just really unflattering, even if I do like the tune of that track quite a bit. There's also Lavish, whose uh, point that the track is trying to make about excess feels like kind of a detour from the rest of the record thematically. And my tolerance for Tyler's uh, silly sad boy raps uh, kind of gets pushed to its limit with uh, these bars over here. So tell your friends at Follow Bots Anonymous, keep it cool, keep the mood androgynous. I see your problem is your proctologist got both hands on your shoulder while you're bottomless? Frickin' Eminem ass bar, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of mixed with the final trio of songs on the record, which starts with Oldie Station, where I actually appreciate the lyrics on this one uh, quite a bit. The chorus melodically isn't bad either, but instrumentally, I just feel like this is one of the more dull moments on the record. The synths, the bass, the drums all come across, I think, a little colorless and plain. Meanwhile, at the risk of feeling dumb, I 
love the sentiment behind this track, uh, checking in on your friends, your loved ones. It's an anti-suicide track. But on this song, it feels like we've kind of tossed out the Clancy trench pretense and uh, we're essentially getting a track that uh, 21 Pilots could have written and placed on any one of their first several records. Then the closing track, Paladin Straight, uh, the duo does try to go for something longer, a little more progressive and epic at six minutes and change. And I do like that narratively the record does end on a hopeful note for sure. But I just feel like the pacing of this one is kind of tedious and it sort of uh, shows a bit of a shortcoming with the duo's inability to write something uh, that reads truly as epic and runs a kind of longer span of time. Still, the track does have some admirable qualities, as the vast majority of songs on this record do. There was really only one that I pretty much all out disliked. And again, there is that very strong run of tracks on the first leg of the album that uh, shouldn't be ignored. But yeah, overall, I think 21 Pilots, uh, they made the we're delivering you back to Trench Promise, and for the most part, they deliver. Though in the grander scheme of their catalog, it does feel like we've just gotten a lesser version of that LP, or we've gotten a project that uh, lyrically and functionally kind of works and runs like an earlier 21 Pilots album, but uh, on the surface level, the aesthetics, uh, the rocking riffs, the boominess, the heaviness of it all feels very Trench. And again, you kind of get that narrative angle and that, that clancy first person perspective, uh, but without all of the crazy concept layers that, I mean, as much as I like Trench, I kind of question the full necessity of to begin with. Uh, but yeah, I guess if you're looking for something that's going in that Trench direction again, but um, is a bit more simplified and to the point, then maybe you'll really appreciate what this album has to offer. But uh, part of me does kind of, you know, wonder and worry about whether or not people who've already kind of decided that they hate 21 Pilots and uh, everything they do is terrible, will, will they even give this record a chance? I'm not entirely sure. But absolutely, it does seem like the fans are really uh, rocking with this record. And uh, considering how much of a step up it is from scale than I see, they most definitely have reason to be. I'm feeling about a strong six on this album. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up for the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, 21 Pilots, live forever.